Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous video, we explained the difference between luminosity and power, and actually we found that there was no difference at all, that luminosity and power is exactly the same thing. We'll use power in physics and luminosity in astronomy to describe how much energy a star or any object puts out. How much energy per unit time, I should say. And that's usually in terms of watts. For the sun, the power or the luminosity is equal to about 3.9 times 10 to the 26 watts. Slightly more, but that's a good estimate right there. So, what do we mean by intensity? How does that relate to the luminosity? Well, the intensity of the energy that we receive from a star depends upon how close or how far away we are. The farther away we are, the less intensity, the less intense the light will be. And the way that works is that you can see that as you go farther and farther out, the amount of light coming from a certain area of the sun will spread out over larger and larger and larger area. So as the, in, as the light or as the energy spreads out over a large area, each area then only receives a smaller and smaller portion of it. For example, if we're at this distance, let's say a distance of R away from the source, a certain area gets a certain amount of light and therefore we call that intensity. Intensity is in terms of, and let me write the equation, intensity is equal to the uh, power per unit area. So it's over how much area does that power spread out? Or, in, in astronomy, I guess we can say that the intensity is equal to the luminosity divided by the area. So as you go farther and farther out, the energy spreads over a large and larger area, so each area gets a smaller and smaller amount. It turns out that the intensity is proportional to 1 over the distance squared. So if you double the distance, you only get a quarter of the intensity. If you triple the distance, you only get one-ninth of the intensity. And that's what I try to illustrate here. So you can see that at a distance r away from the sun, your intensity will be what we call I sub naught. It'll be a certain intensity. But if you're twice as far away, the intensity is now one-quarter the original intensity because the light now has to spread over an area that is four times as big. If you're three times as far away, then you only get one-ninth of the original intensity because all the light that goes through this area right here now will go through a much bigger area that's nine times as much so the light or the energy is now spread out over nine times the area so you only get one-ninth of the intensity. That's what we mean by the intensity is proportional to one over the distance squared. You double the distance, one-quarter, triple the distance, one-ninth, quadruple the distance, you get only one-sixteenth of the intensity. So, the way to then figure out what the intensity is of the light that you receive, or I should say the energy that you receive, you take the total luminosity of the object and divide it over the area over which it spreads. And of course, the area over which the light spreads is basically a sphere, you know, because it goes out in all directions, radially in all directions. So, the light spreads out in a larger and larger and larger spherical shape. And so, by the time the light gets to the Earth, you can imagine a sphere that has a radius of the distance between the Sun and the Earth, which would be, of course, one astronomical unit, or about 150 million kilometers. So if you want to find the intensity at the Earth, what you do is you take the total luminosity of the Sun, and you divide it by the total surface area of a sphere made by the Earth's orbit, and so it would be 4 pi times the radius between the Sun and the Earth squared. Now, a very big distinction here is when we talk about intensity and luminosity, we do talk about the energy coming from the star in all frequencies and wavelengths. Not just visible light, but also UV and infrared. Because some stars, they give off more UV energy, some stars give more um, infrared energy, some stars are more centered around the visible light. So regardless of what the, regardless of what the wavelengths or frequency are that the star emits the energy in, we take all of that energy to get the total intensity. By the time the light reaches the Earth, or I should say all of the energy reaches the Earth, again we think of it as light, but in, in essence it's light, UV and infrared all combined, the intensity of all that energy is around 1361 watts per square meter. Now that's of course when it reaches the upper end of the, of the atmosphere. Once the energy begins to go into the atmosphere, you realize that most of the UV is held back by the ozone layer and some of the energy is held back by the cloud cover, yeah, and then the dust and the particles in the air and the water vapor in the air and all that holds it back. So by the time the light finally reaches the surface of the Earth, it's probably down to about half of what it normally is, about 700 watts per square meter. And then of course on cloudy days when the sun really holds back more of the energy, uh, the atmosphere and the clouds, then it may be less than 700, may only be 600 or 500 watts per square meter of energy that the surface of the Earth receives 
from the sun. But at the, at the very top of the atmosphere, when, it, when the uh, energy reaches the Earth, we can say that the intensity at that point is about 1361 watts per square meter. You might have seen different values. Uh, the original value was more around 1366 or 1367, but with new measurements and calibration, we've narrowed it down where we feel that this is the more correct number. Again, in science, it's never quite absolute. There's always some variation depending upon the measurements and the ability to actually measure these particular values. So hopefully that gives you a good idea about what luminosity and intensity is. And as you continue to watch these videos, you'll get a better understanding of all the various terms in relation to, to each other especially when it comes to the term brightness, because brightness and intensity are not the same thing, and you'll see that on the next video.